Korea Aerospace Industries has found more grounds to reconsider a single-seat version of the FA-50 Fighting Eagle. Previously Korea Aerospace Industries presented a single-seat variant they called the F-50, but it was shelved in favor of the KF-21 Boramay. However, Korea Aerospace Industries has now seized a growing market for buyers who prefer a cheaper alternative to the KF-21 as well as the F-16 Viper and JAS-39 Gripen E, and a more capable competitor to India's Tejas Mk-1A, JF-17 Thunder, and other light combat aircraft in the international market. Korea Aerospace Industries expects that the single-seat variant could be slightly cheaper than the current twin-seat version with the removal of the back-seat avionics and ejection seat and replacing it with an extra fuel tank which allows the FA-50 to have more internal fuel translating to more range. With the Block 20 upgrade, it will have AESA fire control radar, beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile capability, targeting pod compatibility, aerial refueling capability, and compatibility with more munitions including standoff weapons and possibly anti-ship missiles. Aside from Block 20 upgrade, it appears that KAI reusing the bubble canopy of the two-seat FA-50 rather than a whole new canopy design, as shown on the F-50 concept. It made the aircraft look like a Mitsubishi F-1 or a Sepikat Jaguar. The use of dorsal aerial refueling tank, DART, is one of the features that will be included which is present in the T-50A lead-in fighter trainer offered to the US Air Force. The aircraft will also be eyed to incorporate Auto Ground Collision Avoidance System, Auto GCAS, which is a new technology usually found on newer fighters like F-16 Viper and F-35 Lightning II. The cockpit will all be digital using large area display, LAD, similar to what the KF-21 Boramay has. These upgrades appear to be among those also eyed for the FA-50 Midlife Upgrade Program for the Republic of Korea Air Force as well, as other FA-50 users including the Philippine Air Force. The single-seat FA-50 capabilities added make it slowly become more of a baby F-16 Viper that is smaller, but significantly cheaper and affordable for countries with limited funding like the Philippines. Korea Aerospace Industries is expected to offer this variant to the Philippines as one of the potential buyers.